everybody and welcome back to the Chan Chan. Hope you're all having a fantastic holiday season. I know Odie is because he's such a bad boy. Mm. So the new year is coming up and I wanted to start a new tradition here on my channel where I kind of list the 10 holy grail-ish items that I am searching for and hunting for this year, for the new year 2021. It's kind of fun because you are documenting this and then at the end of that year you can look back on it, you know, see your progress, see if you have, you know, acquired all your holy grail items and if you haven't acquired it, you know, you can roll it on over to the next year's list. Don't take this the wrong way. This is by no means a wish list video or anything like that. It's more so a fun documentation for me. Um, and also just out of interest sake, a lot of people do ask me this question quite a lot. It's probably one of the top 10 questions people do ask me is they're like, Laura, you know, what are you looking for? What are your holy grail items right now that you're searching for? And in the comments down below, I'd love to know some of your toy and collectible hunting goals for 2021. You know, what are you looking for? What are some of your holy grail? items? Are you trying to start a new collection of sorts? Are you trying to finish up a collection? It's just really fun to, you know, see what people are into and what people are currently, you know, have their, what they have their sights set on for. Now, obviously for me, there's like a hundred things that I'm always looking out for. Like my, my list is super long. So I have narrowed my list down to about 10 items that I think you guys would find interesting as well. So I do have my little list here with me and I guess we'll go backwards from 10 to one to kind of build suspense. You know, these are not necessarily in a particular order. Order, although number one is pretty cool. Um, but I guess we'll just go, you know, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Number 10 is Muscle Mutts. And you may recall that I did um, do a little segment on this toy line in one of my videos recently. Well, I don't think it was recent, but um, it was like the five most expensive toy lines, I believe. And if I'm not mistaken, I think a few of the items that I'm mentioning today are in that list. That video in particular is a pretty interesting video. So I will leave a link to that in my description below if you aren't interested in checking that video out. So Street Sharks was a TV show and toy line that was created in response to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle craze. And in response to the Street Sharks was the Muscle Mutts. So it's like response to response to response. So Muscle Mutts is this really, really cool line of like super jacked up dogs. They have giant teeth and their logo looks almost exactly like the Street Sharks logo. These figures are almost bootleg looking figures. There's Red Knuckle the Bulldog, Gutter the Doberman, Sugar Tooth the German Shepherd, and Bronzer the Boxer or Pitbull. I don't really know what dog that is. These guys averaged about 250 US dollars each a bit ago and someone just recently got a sick deal on eBay for these two boxed figures. So I'm banking on the fact that uh, because they are kind of bootleg looking ish figures that maybe someone on a use site is just gonna you know list them for $20 for the whole set saying uh, dog action figures. And then that's when Laura swoops in. Number nine, the Chaos Effect T-Rexes. Okay let me let me see if I can grab these without, you know, making too much of a stink in the back here. Everything almost went tumbling down. Don't you hate that? Your shelves are just so packed that if you touch anything, like everything's just gonna fall down. I had someone in my toy room here a long time ago and they touched something. I'm like, don't, don't touch it, don't touch it. So the chaos effect line of Jurassic Park toys is essentially this super colorful line of Jurassic Park toys with some old figures painted in wild color schemes and completely new figures as well. So I have been wanting to start avidly collecting the Jurassic Park chaos effect line for a very long time now, but it's just a matter of, you know, putting in the hours to do a little bit more research, you know, knowing that line backwards and forwards. Um, so you know what you're kind of getting into. Um, and so the two figures that I wanna get my hands on first are the Chaos Effect line of these guys, of these two T-Rexes. So there is the Thrasher T-Rex, which is just a, you know, wild, wild paint job of this guy. And then there is the Bull T-Rex um, that is called the Chaos Effect Bull T-Rex or it's known as like the Omega T-Rex. So I kind of have my sights set high, you know, on collecting this Chaos Effect line by grabbing those two T-Rex first. The Chaos Effect Thrasher goes on eBay for about 200 to $250 US, I believe. And all the values that I give are all in US. And then the Omega T-Rex is a little harder to find and that goes for about 300 plus US dollars. So I think we're on number, what, are we on number? Yeah, I think we're on number eight. Um, so number eight is the Inhumanoids line of toys and specifically those big three, Metlar, Tendril, and Decompose. These are such awesome and scary looking figures. I mean, like, look at this guy. This guy's like decomposing with his rib cage sticking out and pretty sure this guy is the spawn of Satan. The Inhumanoids was a cartoon that debuted in 1986 and only lasted for 13 episodes. Earth Core, which is made up of a heroic group of scientists, battled a group of subterranean monsters called the 
in humanoids. Mattel also came out with a frightening toy line, and the grail items in this line are the big three, Metlar, Decompose, and Tendril. That whole Inhumanoids line is just so fascinating to me because I do find it so grotesque, but I absolutely love it. So I am always on the lookout for a good deal on those three specifically, but I'm, you know, always on the lookout for Inhumanoids merchandise. Um, but now that I think of it, I might by making this video, I might make it harder for me to get some of these things because maybe now some of you are gonna be like, oh, that is a good idea. I actually wanna start collecting those too. I've always loved those, but now I think I'm gonna start collecting those. I might have made it harder for me, but you know, bring on the hunt. Bring it. Okay, number Sieben, Sieben, Sieben. Um, always on my radar that likes to spike up in price during the Christmas season is the original 1996 Turbo Man, specifically the boxed Turbo Man. Turbo Man in a box box with the Turbo Man in it. Turbo Man is my favorite Christmas movie. I remember my little brother and I loved it so much that even, you know, in June and July, you know, the summer months, we'd still put that on. We'd still stick the VCR in and watch Turbo Man because we loved it so much. So this guy does come with some accessories, but sometimes he is missing his jetpack. And when you're buying him loose, he averages about 150 to $200 and boxed is like over $500. So he is rather easy to find actually online if you do just want him, you know, tomorrow, you can totally get one. But you know, if, you, if you're cheap like me and you wanna hold out for, you know, kind of a fair price, just wait around and you might be able to snag him for like under a hundred dollars or something, or even on use sites, you know, I think my brother managed to get one or two for like 30 bucks or something, but I am holding out for a box version. Just there's, there's something about that box that just makes me so happy because I love that movie so much. So number six and five are actually both Street Shark items. I don't know what it is about Street Sharks. I just, I've always been collecting Street Sharks. I think it's one of my first things that I ever got, you know, when I was avidly collecting was like some street shark items. And I just love, sh like, I love sharks in general. They're such amazing, fascinating creatures. I love Jaws the movie so much, one of my favorite movies. Um, and so how can I not love, you know, sharks that are on steroids? I mean, heck, Vin Diesel loves them. Head shark! I got sharks! Rocky Balboa action. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. So number six is the street shark hand puppets or hand sharks. Um, Ripster, Slamu, Jab, and Blades, or Streaks. The Rollerblade guy did have a name change, so he kind of goes by Streaks or Blades, you know, it's interchangeable, doesn't really matter. So if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I absolutely have a fascination and a love of hand puppets. I think hand puppets are always such good quality. They always have such a nice sculpt. They always have such a nice paint job. To this day, I have not met a hand puppet that I do not love. And the Street Shark hand puppets are no exception. They look to be like these nice, big, meaty, beefy hand puppets you know, with really nice sculpts. Um, and they have really nice paint jobs on them too. So I am always on the lookout for a good deal on those guys. They do average about mm, like 60 to hundred dollars, I believe each online, but like everything on this list, it's just a matter of waiting around, taking a sit back, you know, looking around and seeing if you can maybe grab one for, you know, 20 bucks on a use site. It's a rush getting a deal, or maybe I'm just super cheap. That's, that's probably it. I'm just super super duper cheap. And number five goes to the sharks too. And that is a jump. I was gonna say giant and jumbo at the same time. It came out jump. And that is the jumbo mail away electronic ripster. Did I say whipster? I meant ripster. So the leader of the street sharks is Ripsta, and you could get this ripster figure um, from this mail away promotion that I think was from JC Penny. And um, this particular figure is very ripped and scary looking. It's jumbo, it's like 11 inches tall, and it does talk and say a few things. This guy goes for crazy money online. Boxed, he's like over $600, and loose, he's about $400. But one thing that a lot of people do overlook when getting this guy is that back fin, that dorsal fin. Sometimes that fin is missing, and the seller doesn't even mention it because they don't even know that it's supposed to have that dorsal fin. And number four, they never end in story. Again, I mentioned this toy line in my, you know, five top expensive toy lines to be on the lookout for. And this line is very hard to navigate. These figures look like bootleg figures. They were made in Mexico in the 80s. And what's super frustrating about this line is that there are tons of bootlegs of these bootleg looking figures. I mean, if I had the Orin, I'd be like, I wish, I wish that there was no bootlegs of this never ending story toy line so I, I knew exactly what I was getting. 
Or actually, I'll just wish for the toy line itself. So I love the Never Ending Story franchise. Well, except the third movie. The third movie never happened. What third movie? There is no third movie. So I have been on the hunt for these toys forever now, but they are very, very hard to come by at a fair price. And there's really not much out there. So buyers can really set their own prices on these. And it seems to be that they go for about, you know, $200 per little figure. So since these toys were made in Mexico, it is really hard for me as a Canadian living on a tiny little island up north to come by these figures. You know, they're obviously not going to be in my local setting, you know, on new sites. So they are way easier, you know, to come by down south in the US and of course in Mexico, you know, at flea markets and swapping shops and whatever have you, local vendors. Okay, so number three is another one from my expensive toys video. It's kind of funny. Normal girls are like, Gucci, Cartier, Chanel. And I'm like... Knickerbocker, Kenner, bootlegs. But number three is the Knickerbocker Lord of the Rings line that can get very, very expensive. So in 1978, the Lord of the Rings animated movie was released based on the first two Lord of the Rings books. The movie didn't get the greatest reviews because it essentially didn't have an ending, but it did become a cult classic down the road and was an influence to Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy. So back in 1979, Knickerbocker released eight figures. There was Frodo and his horse, Sam, Aragorn, Gollum, Gandalf, a Ringwraith, and the Ringwraith's horse. Because this movie didn't have the greatest reviews and it had to compete with things like Star Wars on the shelves, the line was not successful and had a low production run of basic figures. Not to mention, Knickerbocker went out of business a short time later. So these figures do go for crazy prices, usually about $75 to $500 loose, and package figures can get anywhere up to $2,000. So because The Lord of the Rings is one of my favorite franchises, I will be, you know, hunting for it a little more avidly, a little more closely. Um, let's go number two, number two, two, number two, two. Oh my gosh, we're almost done. Uh, number two is Dino Riders, specifically the Brontosaurus. Dino Riders was a cartoon series that aired for just 14 episodes in 1988. And like most cartoons back in the day, the cartoon was primarily used to push and promote a new toy line. In this case, Tycho's new Dino Riders line. The peaceful superhuman Valorians accidentally traveled back in time to the age of dinosaurs to escape the Rulons, who also ended up in the time travel accident. And the Rulons will stop at nothing to defeat the Valorians, even going as far as controlling the local population of dinosaurs with brain boxes, while the Valorians use the dinos to help create a new civilization and uh, also help them fight too. And in one particular episode, both sides actually raced to track down this giant brontosaurus to add it to their ranks. And Tycho also came up with this giant brontosaurus figure. It's like, it's like this big or something, it's huge. So Dino Rider stuff is crazy expensive because there's just so many these tiny little pieces and accessories that all the dinosaurs come with. Um, obviously there's like humans, there's missiles, there's this and that and this and that. So if you do want a complete Brontosaurus, it's probably gonna be like well over a thousand dollars, you know, no doubt. But if you don't want just a Brontosaurus, just the figure, the big dinosaur figure, it's about $200 US on eBay. And last but certainly not least, number one, and that is the Kraken from the Clash of the Titans line. So I think there were six figures released altogether by Mattel in 1980 in preparation for the 1981 Clash of the Titans film. Ray Harryhausen, of course, had some amazing work in that film, and it's a very nice film in general. There was Perseus, Pegasus, Charon, Calibos, Thalo, and the Kraken. I only have Perseus, Charon, and Thalo. I always want to call him Karen now. Karen, I think I'm going to call this guy Karen for now on. So I am looking for obviously like the Pegasus, um, and Calibus with the tail. Calibus is usually sold without the tail. So if you guys are, you know, wanting to buy him, remember that tail because that tail does come off easily and a lot of people are slaying him without the tail. So I need Pegasus, Calibus, and I need the Kraken. Such an awesome looking figure. And if you want a complete one, you know, with the tail, it'll cost you about 400 US dollars. Okay, so that is the end of my toy and collectible list for 2021. Um, I think it's gonna be really fun, you know, come December time, uh, next December in 2021 to look back on this video and see, you know, how much I got. Did I get Muscle Mutts? Did I get those Street Shark Puppets? Did I find a Turbo Man? Did I get the Kraken? So that's going to be really fun to look back on, see, you know, what I got. Could you imagine if I didn't get anything from my list? That's probably going to be the case because, you know, we haven't had all of our, this entire year, I haven't had any toy shows, any toy
toy fairs, any flea markets, garage sales, or anything, no swap and shops that I've had anywhere around here. Everything has been canceled. So sadly, I have missed out on all those, but there's so many people all around the world still, like in uh, Europe and in the US, and you guys still have like flea markets and toy shows and toy fairs and stuff. Just boggles my mind. I felt like everything was closed down right now. So wishing you all a very safe and happy new year. And in the comments down below, I'd love to know what you are currently looking for, you know, for this new year of 2021. Is it a particular item? Is it like a holy grail item to complete a collection of sorts, you know, or do we share some of the same goals? You know, like, are you also looking for Clash of the Titans? Are you also looking for Chaos Effect? Are you also looking for Knickerbocker Lord of the Rings? Let me know in the comments down below. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come out with new videos every week. Come check me out on social media and help support the channel on Patreon. So thank you all so much for watching and stay legendary. Bye -bye.